Hey, this is Chuck with BMW Blog, and we got a product review for you today. And this is the V-Box. Uh, many people know of this. This is made by RaceLogic out of the UK, and this is their version called the Performance Box Touch. So essentially, this is a touchscreen version that you can mount in your car window that gives you incredibly accurate performance data, zero to 60 miles an hour, zero to 100 kilometers an hour. It has a ton of different metrics it can measure, including acceleration, deceleration. It's an incredible track tool. If you like to go to the racetrack, it will, it is, it comes pre-programmed with about 400 different racetracks with the ability for you to upload more racetracks as they, as they get built uh, via firmware updates. So we are going to unbox this for you and show you what's in the box. And then we're going to go out and put it to use. So let's see what comes in the box. A really cool box that uh, shows kind of basic functions. All right, so first thing it says is the user manual is uh, gives a website here. Uh, to update it so you get the most current user manual. It does not look, I don't really see any paper products or any pamphlets that come with this. So we'll go through all the stuff that's in the box here. So I think that's it for the box. This is a suction cup mount here. Let's see if I can get these without having to cut it. Your typical uh, suction mount, adjustable angle, pretty significant looking grip there. Comes with a memory card. This is a high performance uh, external GPS antenna. The device itself. This is for an optional battery if you choose to get it with that. Look how sweet that looks. These uh, L colored LED lights here, so when you're doing lap timing, it'll tell you if your lap is faster or slower than your previous one. And I, this is a USB charger, a cigarette adapter for the power and your power adapter. And then this gives you power for your device if you don't get the optional battery. All right, so the race logic to install it, to get it ready to go. They send you a micro disc, put that in. This port right here is for GPS, an optional GPS antenna. You just actually have to turn the unit on to see if you need it. But if you do need it, you just plug it in the little brass port here and just kind of wiggles around. Nice engagement there. The power button is a little micro USB. The back side of the unit is where you install the mounting piece. So it's kind of a four prong piece. The unit has multiple adjustability. Um, the suction cup part is right there to engage. Interesting unit. An interesting thing about it is you can twist this and change the angle very easily to adapt to your windshield. So this just clicks in here, uh, nice and firm. And then now we'll go mount it in the car. The power cord is actually a USB, plugs in like this. Once you got that in, installs in your cigarette lighter, which in the M3, E92 M3 will turn the V-Box on. Uh, it'll go through its power-up sequence and then it will start looking for uh, satellites. Um, you will find if you do disconnect the power cord at all for any length of time, like even instantaneously, it will disconnect and power off. So there's no residual battery power in the unit itself. If it becomes disconnected, it goes out. So the green thing here is the SD card is in there. The red flashing here is that it's looking for the satellites um, and there are multiple different menus you can choose. There's are some acceleration stuff. 
Under settings, you can choose if you want to choose 0 to 60, 0 to 100. You can change it to metric. Uh, you can do a one foot rollout. You can hit slope correct. Uh, the customizability of the thing is really unbelievable. And then you just mount it uh, in your windshield, uh, engage the sucking cup, like so. First zero to 60 run. And a lot of tire spin. That's not gonna be any good. All right, here we go. The V-Box thing is pretty cool. You just reach up and I like the touchscreen aspect of it. It's just very easy to use. So this one, we're in a 2021 BMW iS. Again, kind of a cool day, around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Not the best zero to 60 type weather. We're out testing the V-Box. We're in Pretty good, zero to 60 is 6.07. That actually hooked up a little bit better than our E92 M3. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our BMW blog YouTube channel. Cheers.